This hurricane season has been intense. As of the last week of September, seven hurricanes have developed in the Atlantic Ocean. Four of those hurricanes went on to become category four or five. Three of those made landfall in the U.S. Over the past decade, the Caribbean and United States have been lucky, but it was only a matter of time before our luck ran out. Now, the same factors that came together during the deadly 2005 season are present again. Since 1995, the Atlantic Ocean has been in a pattern that's particularly favorable for hurricanes. We don't always see such active years, though. El Nino can counter the effects of that favorable pattern. When it's present, we tend to see fewer hurricanes in the Atlantic. This year, the lack of El Nino is a major contributor to why hurricane season is so bad. What makes it even worse is the way the winds are blowing. A hyperactive season might not be terrible if the storms don't make landfall. This year, high pressure is dominating over the Atlantic Ocean. Not only does that create a nice, calm environment for hurricanes to fester in, it also steers them straight toward the Caribbean and U.S. coast. On top of all this, ocean temperatures are getting hotter in our changing climate. In the Caribbean, where we've seen the strongest storms, sea surface temperature is above average. This gives storms more fuel to feed on. It increases the likelihood that a hurricane will intensify into something catastrophic. Hurricane season lasts through the end of November, and because of these factors, we know it will continue to be active.